Hello, everybody, and welcome to a summer edition of the Spotlight. And before we get to your questions, we have a special announcement. This month's episode marks the first year anniversary since the show was rebooted. Yay! Thank you to everybody who helped make the show popular. Yeah, thanks you guys. And now on to your questions. April on LPS60 asks, what's your favorite superhero movie? Come on guys, you've known me for a year now. You should know better than to ask me that question. I love too many. Katniss Cat 7 asks, what is your favorite LPS series and what is your favorite musical? Well, sweetie, my favorite series that I've seen so far is The Dragon Sorceress by Go Green Girl and Totally Super by Eliza LPS. And my favorite musical would have to be Wicked, The Phantom of the Opera, The Music Man, Singing in the Rain, and Les Mis. That's almost all the musicals, Lean. I know. <laughs> Jewel Sparkle asks, who is your favorite Avenger character and why? P.S. You guys are the best. Wow, thanks. And of course, Thor is one of my favorite Avengers, but ever since the second one came out, I've really been liking the Scarlet Witch and Vision. Yeah, it's so much fun to have another girl Avenger on the team. And Vision was always my favorite in the animated series of the Avengers, so I'm really happy that he's now like in the movies. Mermaid Haley asks, have you heard of the big four? Hiccup, Rapunzel, Merida, and Jack Frost? If you have, who's your favorite member? Oh, I love them all, Sweeney. But if I had to pick, it would probably be either Jack Frost or Rapunzel. Kim Yi Sewell asks, have you ever read The Ranger's Apprentice? No, I have not, but I have heard of the books, and I hear that they're really good. Maybe I should start reading them. Ooh, Rosie, a question from both of us. Clarice Apple Pie Riviera asks, What's your favorite kind of pie, and when will the Wicked Short come out? Well, sweetie, my favorite kind of pie would have to be chocolate pie. And I'm a huge fan of apple pie. And as for the Wicked series, we don't know when it's going to come out, but we're hoping sometime this summer. LPS Magic TV asks, out of all of the three dragons, which one is your favorite? Favorite dragon? Oh, well, uh... Yeah, which one of us is your favorite? Oh, come on guys, you know I all love you equally. <laughs> Oh, come on now, Rosabella, Helena, which one of us is our favorite? <laughs> like I said, all of the dragons are my favorite. Fantasy Girl 112 asks, If you could meet or talk to an LPS tuber, who would it be? Well, I would love to talk to Eliza LPS. Shimmer Pastels asks, Do you do customs, and can you show us some of it? Well, we have done a few customs. I guess we could introduce them to you. So, you probably recognize her from the Halloween special. This is Patches. Hello, everyone. And you probably haven't seen her before, but this is Ice Cream Kitty. Hi. So, are we free to, like, go now? If you want to, sweetie. Okay, see ya. LPS Swim X32 asks, what is your favorite food? Well, my favorite food is spaghetti. And mine would have to be pizza. A big thank you to everyone who sent in questions for this month. Yeah, thank you, sweeties. And also, this month we're going to do things a little bit differently. So, normally on this show, we interview some LPS tubers. 
But this month, since it's our one year anniversary, we thought that we would interview our cast. All the people that helped make this show possible. Plus, no LPS tuber would respond to our comments. So please welcome to the stage our assistants, George and Minty. you two have to do as assistants? Well, we, uh, assist. And? Um, we bring the TV in for the top three picks. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I babysit for Patty. Thank you both so much for being with us and for answering our questions. And uh, also, thank you for, you know, helping us off stage, you know, behind the scenes. No problem. Yeah, we're uh, happy to help. Oh, Rosie! Are you gonna interview us now? No. But we're behind the scenes too. Yeah, but you're not a crew member. You're just here for, like, I don't know, moral support. That is so unfair! Mom! Sweetheart, in this one instance, Rosie is right. Now come on, get off the stage. Ha! Take that, Isabel. Ugh, fine. And now it's time to interview your favorite characters. So, please welcome to the stage... Whee! interview me. Aw, she's so adorable. Who is this, Rosie? Oh no, the platypus. Someone call security. I am just saying, I have been on this show for years now, and nobody has ever bothered to interview me. That's not the way it works. The viewers have to vote for what characters they want to see. Oh yeah? So... Who did they vote for for this episode, hmm? Well, it, nobody voted for anyone. Sometimes that happens, sweetheart, and we just have to pick a character on our own. So, why can't that character be me? I'm already on the show. Because we already promised someone else that they could be on it. Now get off! I have to agree with the platypus on this one. What? <laughs> Talia? What are you doing here? I want to be on this show too. I mean, come on. When do I get to be on it? Like I said, whenever somebody votes for you, you will be on the show. Unless nobody votes, and then you just choose someone at random. Why didn't you choose me? Well, since it's our 100th episode, sweetie, we thought that the director- <gasps> Oh no, it's security. Uh, uh, hey Talia, can you give me a lift? Oh, pretty, 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 Fine, hang on. This is so awesome! You called? You're a little late to the party, guys. They went that way. Well, technically, they went that way. Don't blame me. I thought that the way through the studio would be faster. If you're done cricket whispering. We should get going. Okay, come on, Pookie. Hmm. Okay. So, without further ado, please welcome to the stage the director of Fantasyland Films, Sophie Barrett. Thank you for being with us, sweetie. Well, thank you guys for having me. So, Sophie, 
What are here some of your plans for videos this summer? Well, I don't want to give stuff away, but I know that I will be working on Dragon More. I'm really excited about that series. It's really fun. And I will be making a new BTS episode, or behind the scenes, for people that have been asking. BTS stands for behind the scenes. Oh, I was wondering what that stood for. So where do your ideas for series come from? Well, they can come from anywhere. Uh, like Dragon, for example. I saw, like, there's these little, like, writing tips on the internet, and one of them had to do with fairy tales, and I was like, hmm, that would make a pretty good series. So you mostly do fantasy and sci-fi series. Why don't you do dramas? Honestly, there are too many dramas here on LPS Tube. It seems like everybody is doing, like, some kind of like LPS popular spin-off, which is totally okay. It's just, I'd like to see a little variety. Some more superheroes, some fairy tales, maybe some mystery series. That would be awesome. It's not that I don't like dramas. I just think that mm, so many people have already done them. I'd like to do something a little bit different. So you mentioned in our last episode that you were working on LPS Wicked. Can you tell us anything about that? Are you crazy? No, I cannot tell you anything about that. It's secret. I shouldn't even have mentioned it last time. So, do you have any other series planned besides Dragon and Wicked? Well, I do have a superhero series planned. But don't get too excited. It'll probably be a while. And I should probably finish Food Agents before I get started on another superhero series. Yeah, probably. Thank you so much for being with us, Sumini. Yeah, well, thank you guys for having me. Alright, party peeps, time for our top three picks. And in third place, it's Jan Animation Studios with My Little Pony Parody, Don't Mime at Night. Come on, button, play it cool. No, I'm here to fight for you. I'm fighting more than I can chew. My life flashes by. Congratulations! And in second place, it's the Red Sox Fan 18 with Marvel Cinematic Universe. People who blow up to the sky and see hope. Congratulations! And in first place, it's Fearless Blue Leader with DMNT, Hold My Hand. Thank you all for watching! Thank you for one amazing year here on YouTube. Hopefully we can have another one. Don't forget to vote for me. Will someone please get her out of here? Oops, gotta go.